Murray trying to get it. Shot clock winding down. Murray puts up a three. Bang! Jamal Murray from downtown! Yo, what is good, Lock Mom Nation? Coming at y'all with another banger, another build video. This time, we are doing a Jamal Murray build. I know we've all been watching the NBA playoffs, and Jamal Murray has been killing it, man. He has been balling. And so looking like Jamal Murray, man, a superstar has been born. I mean, I know he's been a really good player since he's came into the league. But in these playoffs, especially when the Nuggets got down 3-1 in that series against the Jazz, man, Jamal Murray has been a man on a mission. The talk is Jokic and all that. But Jamal Murray, man, the Nuggets wouldn't be where they are without Jamal Murray. And as someone that hates the Celtics... I'm glad that Boston didn't draft him, but they drafted Jalen Brown instead. Of course, Jalen Brown, you know, he's a good player for Boston. But, you know, I think Jamal Murray is better than Jalen Brown. Let me know what you think about that. And also, let me know who you got, the Lakers or the Nuggets. I got the Lakers unless, you know, they go up 3-1. But, you know, if the Nuggets take game one, you know, we've seen the Lakers down 0-1. So, you know, if the Lakers go down 0-1 and then they go up 3-1, something's got to give. But either way, I got the Lakers, man. But we're about to get into the build. Um, my bad for rambling, but I'm just excited for this video. And the playoffs have been crazy. But you see how close we are to 6K subscribers, man. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, turn on post bell notifications so you don't miss an upload. Also, I stream on Twitch, so you know. Follow me on Twitch if you want. Link down below. Alright, sorry for all that talking, but name doesn't matter. You're going to make him a point guard, right-handed. Jersey number up to you. I go number 11. That's my favorite number. And we're going to go with the shooting chart. The one where it's just a little more shooting. Not this one, but this one. A little more shooting and then playmaking. Unfortunately, I, I can't get a build that compares to Jamal Murray on this pie chart. I think this pie chart's better to get Hall of Fame playmaking badges. But if you want a build that compares to Jamal Murray, you're going to have to make this pie chart. There might be other ways I don't know, but you want to go with the all-speed pie chart. As a point guard, you want to be as fast as possible. Now we're going to move this stuff all the way up. We're going to move the mid-range all the way up, the three-point all the way up. Actually, I'm sorry, the mid-range ain't going to go all the way up. It's going to be a 75. Now, the build we're going to make, the build that's going to compare Jamal Murray, you have to make it like this. But we're going to move the free throw. Jamal Murray's not a bad free throw shooter, obviously, but... He's obviously not this good. But we're moving the free throw this high just for the sake of getting a lot of shooting badges. Pass accuracy and ball handling all the way up. And we're going to go interior defense, perimeter defense. Jamal Murray is actually a really good defender. Now, how goes he at rebounding? You know, we want to get them defensive badges. And the rest of these, honestly, you can probably just put on post moves, to be honest. Just to get the playmaking badges. And we got four more to play with. Let's just... Hey, we get another shooting badge out of that. That's actually a good play. Uh, body shape, this is up to you. I like Bill. I don't know. I just like Bill. 6-4 is what we're going to do. And we're going to make him the lowest weight. You know, this ain't what Jamal Murray weighs, at least I don't think. And I don't feel good going it, so... Sorry about that. But we want to be as fast as possible. Like I said earlier, you get the most speed and acceleration out of this. And you really don't need a lot of weight as a point guard. You know, you're not really going to be playing down low. In the wingspan, you can keep it neutral. You can't move it all the way down. You're not going to compare to Jamal Murray. Unfortunately, I do think this is the best right here. But if you want the Jamal Murray comparison, you need either neutral wingspan or one lower. And I'm going one lower, you know, to have the 93 point rating, you know, I think it's worth it. I mean, it's only one tick lower. Uh, takeover, I mean, Jamal Murray, I mean, this low key might be Jokic's takeover. Slashing, eh, but we, honestly, I think shot creating is his real takeover, but we can't move up to mid range like that if we want to get the Jamal Murray comparison for some reason. But, Sharpshooter makes the most sense for Jamal Murray. And honestly, Sharp Takeover is the best takeover in the game. But I really do think Shot Creating is his takeover. We saw that fading three hit against the Clippers with the shot clock winding down. That was an insane shot. But, alright, we're going to choose the Sharp Takeover. 
And there you go, a three-point playmaker shades of Jamal Murray. He is the first player here compared to Kirk Heinrich and Steph Curry. Honestly, that's a weird mix. But the point is, the very first player you see, it is Jamal Murray. And it looks like that his name, like his letters are brighter than Heinrich and Curry's. It's almost like 2K knows I'm making this video. But making the build is one thing. Knowing what to do with the badges is another thing. So make sure you stick around for the badges. So you get two finishing badges, and this is honestly up to you. You know, consistent contact, you can do this, but I'll just do that for now. But shooting badges, there's 22 of them. Now, while my build videos were in the demo, before I knew how the game was gonna be, now that the game's been out for a little bit, we know what the best shooting badges are. That is Range Extender, Hall of Fame, even if Murray's range ain't really like that. I mean, he's got range, Hall of Fame might be OD, but if you want to be the best shooter on this game, you want to have Hall of Fame Range Extender. Hot Zone Hunter, we've seen how OP shooting is once you get those hot zones. Dead Eye, I mean, Jamal Murray has Jade people, you know, for sure. I feel like he's pretty clutch. Let's give him Bronze Clutch Shooter. You know, you saw the, the Fade away 3. You know, he makes tough shots off the dribble. So we'll give him difficult shots on Hall of Fame. And the rest of this, man, it's honestly up to you. You could probably go Green Machine. I think Catch and Shoot's one of the best badges. Uh, you know, yeah, let's do a Corner Specials, actually. Yeah, I think this one is really good. Yeah. I mean, you can probably argue volume shooter as well. I mean, just ask Michael Porter Jr. He takes a lot of shots. No, yeah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But I think this is a good shooting badge setup right here. On well, my regular player that I actually play park with, I only have 17 shooting badges. So this is honestly more shooting badges than I even know what to do with. Playmaking handles for days. We know how stamina is. You want it on gold. Quick first step on gold. Uh, the way shooting is, you need your shooters to have as much of a boost as possible. So... Dimer, gold, even though Jamal Murray, you know, real life, yeah, he probably doesn't have gold, but it's all good. Space creator, gold, I definitely think Jamal Murray does create a lot of space. He does really good with that. Uh, if you want to have the best handles possible, you probably want to have them pluckable on bronze or silver. Uh, tight handles, he does break the fenders off with ease. And the rest of this, honestly, man, it's up to you. Hmm. For Jamal Murray, I don't really know. So we're going to do floor general just to be the best teammate possible. And we got one more, I guess, bailout because why not? Defense, Jamal Murray is actually a really good on-ball defender. Let's give him gold clamps. Might be OD, but hey. Interceptor for sure. And I think pickpocket is a very underrated badge. So there you have it. That is Jamal Murray. And Jamal Murray, jump shot even on here. I mean, we're not actually, you're not actually going, this ain't the demo. All right, his jump shot's not on here. But that's a Jamal Murray build. If you have any questions or if you have any disputes about how I made this build, I mean, it was a struggle just to make a build that just had the name Shades of Jamal Murray. So this was a really tough build to make, but I really wanted to do it because Jamal Murray has been one of the most fun players to watch in these NBA playoffs. And I look forward to the challenge of him going against LeBron James and the Lakers. Should LeBron guard Jamal Murray? And do you think Anthony Davis can guard Nikola Jokic? But yeah, once again, who do you got? Lakers or Nuggets? And do you think the Celtics, who you see Jason Tatum right here, can they come back down 2-0 against the Miami Heat? I don't think so. I had Miami winning from the jump. As soon as they beat Milwaukee, I said Toronto and Boston are just battling to lose to Miami. I didn't think Miami would be up 2-zip. I mean, I didn't think they'd be up 2-zip. You know, Boston blue game too. But whatever. You guys don't care about my NBA opinions. If I should make NBA talk videos, let me know. But yeah, man. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Turn on post notifications. So let's get that 6K and follow me on Twitch. And yeah, here's some videos on the end screen. I'll see you there or I'll see you in the next one. But till next time, I am out. Peace.